feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign 8,000 people, man. I've been inside more people than Will Chamberlain. 8,000 people. <laughs> Say that again. Come I in. like that. <laughs> I've, been I've, been inside inside more people. I've been inside more people than Will Chamberlain. That's funny. And Will Chamberlain. <laughs> As a surgeon. Guaranteed. Awesome. That, that, was, that was in my professional career. Welcome back to FAQ The Madness. We respectfully exercise our First Amendment right to publish interactions with government officials through the unbiased view of a camera. Let's jump into another ref. Recording. So, me and Craig go way back. Um... When did we meet? We were 18 years old. I was. Yeah, so uh, 1989, probably when we were in basic training. Uh, yeah, I would have been 18 turning 19. Yeah. So now I'm retired and in a veteran's home uh, I just moved into recently. I just wanted to show you this because I thought you saw this before, didn't you? No, you never showed it to me before. Okay, well, it's symbolic. Like, everything <clears throat> involved with this project and me and just everything that is out there that I've done and created along or found it along with, with how this developed um, is meaningful, impactful, and it's done for a reason. And nobody's met me yet, Craig. That's the crazy thing. They, they've, they've shut me down and shut me up and kept me quiet now for so freaking long. And that's why I got the blood sweat mobile because this you cannot fucking deny. And I don't know if I'm allowed to use the F word with you, but you cannot fucking deny that it exists. Right? Free speech. Speak the, way to, speak the way that you want to. <laughs> yeah. I'm just telling you, man, it's, why? Why are we still doing this? And you know what I mean, Craig. Yeah. Why are we doing this to our people still? And I put, I guess that's considered a snowflake, but I saw the whys in it. And it's got to be cleaned up a little bit. I, uh, I, I think I got it out of the shop a month or so before the fucking incarceration, the improper con uh incarceration but you can see i put the logo on the back oh yeah and so, i love the logo I, I i like the well i don't know t tell me a little bit about how your vision came for that logo where did you get that from well there's a secret in the logo because the the, the thing is blood sweat is an actual thing mm -hmm. an actual secretion that comes from the hippopotamus through their 16 inch thick skin and it's made of two acids called hippocuteric uh, acid i believe is the pink one if i remember right and orange stands for nor hippocuteric acid and when they combine they make blood sweat blue stands for heaven above brother this yeah. this mission this business this company this evolution all uh, occurred because of god it was a path that i was chosen to be on and why I got this, I mean, you think about it. You, when you're young, you pray to the clouds, right? You think of mm -hmm. the pearly gates in heaven up on the clouds. Well, think about it. It's got to be if there's heaven, which I believe there is, and there's God, then it doesn't go to the clouds. It goes beyond to the beyond blue. Beyond that, yeah. And I never thought of heaven as being blue. Now, you can think of it as being black, too, right? Because actually, mm -hmm. that's what it is. There's a lot of absence of light out there in space. And so the, the blue above stands for, you know, that, that's the meaning behind it for me is that this came from God. The two things, you know, blood sweat has five functional properties. It works as a bug repellent, antibiotic, antiseptic, lotion, and a sunscreen for the hippos, balls. And balls, I named it that because we used the hippo. Uh, at my baseball program, I got to back up a hair but to tell you about hippos in training because truly that's where this whole thing started. But we'll, we'll get things back in order later, man. I, if you are not careful, Craig, I'll run all over the damn place <laughs> and not necessarily make sense at first, but it all comes together. 
it all comes together so well when you look at blood sweat and you look at what we're about to do with this company, dude. That looks cool, man. That looks really that looks really tight. But um, what I figured, what I thought, I, look at that. That's is that a scorpion? Yeah, that is that is cool. Yeah, but no scorpion yeah. were harmed in the making of this stick shift. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that happened also happened to my companies, correct? Oh and yeah. If you think about it that way, and if an attorney were to look at this, being medical, I don't know everything about attorneys, but I know a hell of a lot more about them than they know about me. And <laughs> if, if, if an attorney looks at any of this, really, man, it just, it, it's sad. It's sad that nobody stood up for me, Craig. Um, so you were Sorry. not only were you alone in the cell, but as far as the uh, after you start reaching out to people, nobody. Nobody said, oh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Not a one. Wow. Not a one has said blood sweat's a good idea. Not a one has said that hippos in training is a good idea. Not a one says that it's a crime what they did. I, I saw that you're you're sending things out to your congressman. And it, basically, is that what you're doing? Not just my congressman. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm corresponding. Yeah corresponding with our congressman and his office. Uh, I haven't okay. talked to him just yet. I'm basically in the on deck circle. Um, mm -hmm. I've corresponded with Jacob Turner, who's with uh, Governor DeSantis's office now three or four times. I wrote him a letter from jail. And when he got it, he just like everybody else at first that looks at this fucking story says what? Well, First of all, they psyched him eight times in a fucking year. So uh, the fact that I'm working down in South America with Pablo Escobar's cocaine hippos doesn't make me sound any more sane. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you start putting it all together in here, like he said, he said, man, I, I thought you were making this up. You were crazy. Electric handcuffs. He, the governor's office didn't know they existed. So how is that possible? Right. Yeah. You bring him in under a false name. You uh, hide him in the back door somehow. Um, Governor DeSantis clearly cannot support stun cuffs in their use. He cannot. I don't think, in my opinion, it's it, they're in the wrong hands and even in the right hands, they're considered a, a tool of torture because you never know when the next shock is coming. It's like having a stun gun pointed at your face the whole time. If you Google stun cuff, mm -hmm. there's nothing standing up against them. There's like a couple of, couple of uh, websites. And I think they're actually not website, but they're links. And they're like three or four links to the same website. And it's the stun cuff company. Okay. They got to have huge contracts because they also, I believe, are involved in making the stun guns too. So. The cuffs are just the next step up, but now we got one more step to go, and that's the, the stun collar. That's coming in 2025. I'm making those shits, and I'm putting blood sweat stamp on it. <laughs> <laughs> who, who are you going to put blood co or stun collars on? I'm just joking. About a month after I was there, they had an emergency where somebody brought in fentanyl. You know, it's got to come in three different ways, right? Mm -hmm. Either from the inmates, the people that work at the jail, whether they're contractors or not, or the fucking squirrels and rabbits. Squirrels <laughs> and rabbits may be bringing that shit in, you know? They can right. make money. <laughs> but um, they had an incident where a couple of nurses nurses rushed to the aid of a, of a prisoner and he died couple of nurses immediately went down because they didn't put on gloves first and the fentanyl absorbed through their fingers. Um, and I believe a couple of inmates went down. I, you know, the stories went around that, you know, anywhere from two to five nurses and two to five inmates and two to five deaths occurred. But, you know, at the jail, there's a lot of really, I think, evil secrets going on that, you know, we turn our back to. Uh, my career included what I did and now where I am. 
I got arrested the day of my press release. That threw everything off. So and now the fact you're back is, basically the square one. Federal, well, worse than square one. I'm going through a divorce. I'm claiming bankruptcy. I, my son, I have every right to see him, but because of where I'm living, I can't have him here. So he was here for the weekend, and I'm getting everything, you know, back in order. I can't go back to work. I'm on disability, and I have three appeals pending in the courts. Um, you know, it just takes time. But as of October 2021, October 4th, you know, I had to stop working as a PA because I have a really bad, quickly advanced arthritis. And thank God it 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 slowed down because I'd already been crippled like back in the Air Force when I was paralyzed. Mm -hmm. It I, they think maybe because I have when I had Guillain-Barre, that's like a it's an autoimmune disorder making my my immune system hypersensitive, hyperreactive, whatever. And I think quite possible that the COVID vaccine caused an inflammatory reaction. There's two documented medical things that occur due to COVID. One is the left ventricle develops clops, clots in it, clops, clops of clots in it, and, and it dilates and weakens, and people have strokes and problems from where they embolize the clots or send them off to other places. But now... Polyarthritis is a newer found complication after having the vaccine. So blood sweat and blood sweat drip are coming out the box with some huge fucking shit right off the beginning. Blowing off with a with a grand finale immediately that's going to last for, in my opinion, eternity. I believe this company is going to develop into something so big, so monumental, so historically unchallenged because you can get one monopoly legally in this country, in this world. And that monopoly is on humanitarian organizations. Oh yeah. If you become That's so big, so proper, so great, tell everybody why challenge, just come on in. And then for you to add on top of that, all of the other things that you went through schooling uh, and, and the <clears> like, and then for them to call you "quote unquote" crazy, it just seems so so far fetched. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's so you, you, you missed a key point. What did they mm -hmm. What did they do? They called me crazy, right? Yeah. Well, why? That's the question. Because do you they have the right up. to just do that? Do you have? Well, you got to be more specific, though, right? When you fill out the documents, when you fill out the the arrest record. I mean, in, mm -hmm. in essence, I was arrested. You know. Yeah. Um. But it's just madness, brother. When you when you look at all the, it, it, they can call anybody crazy, especially once or twice, and get away with it. They did yeah. it to me eight times in in six months, five times consecutively. I've never been Baker acted in my life, Craig. I worked for twenty five years saving people. When all of a sudden. I decided to start standing up to the high and mighty officer in blue with his nice little clip on necktie. Mm -hmm. When I decided to talk to him in a manner that maybe I raised my voice. Maybe I used some curse words. What's the matter, you little bitch? You mm -hmm. can't take a fucking curse word. How the fuck old are you? And that's because the thing nobody's to still talked to me yet, brother. Nobody's talked to me, Craig. Do you understand? This is the first interview. Somebody's jumping on board because the blood sweat train's got you having three options right now. You can act like it doesn't exist and watch that fucker go off in the distance with that puff of smoke. You know, you can get on board with me and have a ball changing shit up and doing things from now surgically. <laughs> you know, I, I did this shit. I led my life saving lives, prolonging lives, saving kids, grandpas that I would later meet at my son's school. And they talk about how I saved their grandfather or grandmother's life. And I, I was very humbled by all that. Mm -hmm. now I'm going to fix some brains. Because I believe that I can prove one thing on Tuesday. And that's the scientific fact that racism doesn't exist. What's the skin labeled as, Craig? It's an organ. The largest. Largest organ what? Uh, in the body or on the body? You corrected yourself. It's an organ, right? So then, okay, well, maybe, maybe it's 2024 and we 
maybe due to Webster's Dictionary even. I don't know. That was what Malcolm X said. Uh, if skin is an organ, then why the fuck don't we call it what it is? We're practicing organism. And if you're going to practice organism on me, I'd say use my brain, not my skin. Hmm. Definitely not my heart, because that motherfucker even deceives me. I 8,000 people, man. I've been inside more people than Will Chamberlain. 8,000 people. <laughs> Say that again. I like that. <laughs> I've, been I've, been inside inside more people. I've been inside <laughs> more people than Will Chamberlain. That's funny. And Will Chamberlain. <laughs> As a surgeon. Guaranteed. Awesome. That, that, was, that was in my professional career. Until we realized that we need to judge each, each other by our brains, which, you know, ironically enough, Einstein's brain post-mortem was a little bit smaller. I often thought that was because it was more dense. The matter was so dense, it made it more efficient. You got a big brain, man. Shit's got to go down river. I'm, I'm blessed that you and I have maintained a relationship after that one fight and argument we got into. Where I think I made you go sit in the corner. Or something. <laughs> it's something like that. It, that that was a long time ago. But from uh, that time to you, me, you, me, Tim Brooke, uh getting honor flight and all that stuff, it worked out. So and then now we're here. Man, we now, so. I tell you what, I'm glad and blessed to know that all uh, this is my my third retirement, really, because it was a military retirement, medical retirement back then. Mm -hmm. And then now I had this medical retirement really now I wasn't ready to quit operating, but now that I got no knees and my back, my back is freaking killing me, brother. Um, mm -hmm. I got no choice, but to retire. So then when this arrest happened, dude, I mean, I tell you women scandalous. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and I guess you just say people, people are scandalous. The content alone, but also the delivery and everything, the message that was there, it, it wasn't ready and now it's ripe, man. This this whole thing I did a five almost five month incarceration based on my beliefs, based on on sacrifice that I knew was coming. My my penalty for what I did when I cut off the ankle monitor, threw it in the Congresswoman's Lake, and then sat my ass down on the curb and waited for the numb knuckles to come which they sent, I believe, around 30 or so, because I'm such a dangerous-looking individual. <laughs> uh, but finally enough, after, after five consecutive Baker Acts, don't you know, Craig, when I finally snap and cut my ankle monitor and throw it in the lake, they don't even have me evaluated medically, let alone psych. psych they didn't even have a, a psych person talk to me. They just immediately sent me to the jail. Wow. Yeah. And like it's we said, trip. like you said, it can happen to anybody, right? So... Yeah. That's the scary part. It can, man. It's, it and it does happen to everybody. It's not that it can. It happens to everybody on TV, actually. That's true. That's true. My audience is particularly interested in that, that type of thing where big government takes advantage of a situation and we are the ones that are, are uh, armed by it. Am I really down or do I just want to talk about it? Do I just want to talk about it? Do I just want to? How, how can we still stand here? My second cause, I'll give you a hint. How can we still sit here and watch on national TV as, a, as an officer turns and is allowed to turn his body camera off in order to commit a crime or do something dastardly? Uh, that just happened with yeah. um, that young lady that was murdered in her kitchen. He shut mm -hmm. it off and his partner didn't. But that begs me to wonder... Why is that legal at all? I don't even care I if I got to listen to that fucker grunt and take a shit. I don't care if he's got to vomit. I don't care if he's got to piss. We can edit that out. I want all the footage. Yeah, that shit hashtag, goes on when that's strapped to your body. It turns on. When it no comes doubt. Off hashtag, your body, uh, stop it's plugged eating in, body downloaded. And why the fuck are we still allowing it? So listen, if you have any interest in listening to the <clears throat> honorable Craig Woodall and what he's about to do and, and change things by being the blowhorn, being the man that actually speaks and people want to listen because he's speaking up for not, not speaking up for himself because anybody can do that. And nobody wants to hear that. First of all, why the fuck do we have a bunch of veterans by themselves? 
Isn't that a group that can solve their own problem in a way? Just got to figure out how to mix it up, put the right spices in that makes it all come together like a soup. You know, I say, okay, let's stand up for homeless people. Everybody wants to stand the fuck up for homeless people. Well, they're the same ones you walk over when you go get your $19 fucking mocha latte peaky potty or whatever the fuck it is at Starbucks. All right. We'll make a difference with them. And I got a plan so lovely under blood, sweat, law. Love always wins. You'll see. I'll talk to you about it. But uh, I also say sex traffic women down in, down in South America and Colombia. Huge fucking problem. Well, everybody raises their hand. Me too. I, I'm going to stand up for the sex traffic women. Well, the minute you start doing something, then I'll get away from them dirty horse or whatever. You know, I don't know what the fuck people say behind their backs, but... You don't see a lot of people really in organizations standing up and making a difference, making a dent and solving the problem at the root instead of actually just trying to save girls after they've been harmed. I got involved with, with helping save these hippos because they're historical magical creatures and they're, they're special. They're special animals because they, they all came from the same father. Makes them a little retarded. Mm. <laughs> wow. More likely to be Baker acted. <laughs> coming out the box my my i say i'm pablo escobar's cousin because i'm saving his hippos cuz there's an old saying just because you're paranoid doesn't mean you're uh, that they're out to, doesn't mean that they're not out to get you right mm. yeah, yeah and and i have uncovered a really big problem big 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 problem for the local authorities in pinellas county I got I got hurt so bad during one of their encounters using one of their tools that they don't want to admit that they use so many fucking times violating policies set in place for their use that only only could have been accomplished if you had the sheriff of Pinellas County involved with helping use the stun cuffs. Unless somebody went in his fucking office and pulled him out of his drawers. They have one set of stun cuffs at Pinellas County Jail. Two nights in a row as a disabled veteran and a disabled physician assistant, I was up there saluting all the EMS a couple of nights in a row as type of a silent protest. My cutting off mm -hmm. of the ankle monitor was a silent protest. Staying in jail for as long as I did was a silent protest. And I probably would have stayed in longer if it wasn't for my son. I had to see him. He's, he's almost yeah. nine. He was here today. And the only person that believes in me, Craig, other than you, that's believe true. in you my brother i do that, that's that's true but that means i gotta get you one of these I gotta get you on the blood sweat train and i gotta get you a blood sweat shirt stat so I mean, like when we like when we figured out when you came in from whatever flight you were in and you were like do this do that and we got everybody in in order we started doing the shit and it was so easy like we had been doing it for years it's cheating <laughs> man it's cheating yeah. right but that's yeah. what we when do you, in everything that we do is other than our like respiratory functions that are controlled in our brain by parts we don't know exist you know those things happen without even doing it but we're, a lot of us are instinctual or hab habitual we but if you have little secrets little shortcuts man you know it makes a big difference oh yeah little hats you know? for sure thank you for watching if you have a video you'd like for us to cover use the submit link in the description or pinned comment if you enjoyed this one, consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of future content. Be sure to check out all of the other content we have for your edutainment. We will continue to respectfully exercise our First Amendment rights and publish the interactions we have with government officials. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment. It's the easiest way for you to let us know your thoughts about our channel. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Getting my way in to be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit. A stupid myth, you choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh.